In this video, I am going to show you how to grow a lemon tree in a container. Welcome to Roots to Sprouts. I am very happy to meet you all in another video like this. There are different varieties in lemon like Mayer lemon, Lipzon, Ponderosa and Pink Eureka. These are the most popular varieties. You can grow your lemon plant from the seed if you have the patience and if you want to see the baby growing or if you are technically skilled you can do the rootstock grafting method or you can do a air layering method these are all the different types that you can grow your lemon tree if you don't want to get into all that the best and the easy way is go to your nearby nursery at the early spring and shop around for the lemon trees there are different varieties you will find in the nurseries and you can see all these small plants are flowering and they do have some lemons how does it possible because all these are already root stocked and crafted and that's the reason you can see these lemons are growing in such a small trees okay let's take a closer look at the yellow tag behind this label what is written in that you can see two important words in this yellow tag one is certified second is produced in texas you will see these labels mostly on the citrus trees because tristesa is a virus disease that kills citrus trees quickly particularly those growing on a sour orange rootstock the disease has made it illegal to transport citrus trees across state lines that's the reason in texas you cannot transport or ship the citrus trees from one state to another state for example my favorite online nursery store is fastgrowingtrees.com in their website if you go and search for lemon trees or like mayer lemon with any lemon title on the very first page you will see there is a restriction to ship to texas and also do not ship to list of states as texas so any citrus tree that you find in texas nurseries are produced only in texas so as you can see all these plants are from the rootstock so you will see uh, the, the fruits are not big in size it it gets mature as the as the tree get more mature in the coming years but the more it gets healthy and bigger the tree grows you will get a big size mayer lemons all these are like mayer lemons there are different type of lemons as i mentioned the one what you're seeing now this is ponderosa so the ponderosa are like really big in size and you can see the leaf size uh, is also bigger than the normal um, lemon tree in the in the mayer lemon or any other lemon so these are the different other type of lemons that you can find in the nursery and this one what you are seeing you can see clearly the the difference in the color of the leaves uh, this is like the pink eureka variety the leaves are very different with like a double color like a lighter shade and there is a darker shade of the green in the leaves you can grow mayer lemon in tree form or bush form the bush form is what we call it as the dwarf make sure if you are buying a lemon tree to be bushy to check the label and find out there is something mentioned as dwarf these dwarf citrus trees are simply regular fruit trees that are crafted onto smaller plant root stock what is crafting crafting is nothing but connecting two different parts of the plant this particular improved mayer lemon plant was crafted on a flying dragon root stock this particular root stock grows a little slower and only reaches about 30 to 50% of its normal size resulting in a dwarf version that is the reason you see most of the uh, mayer lemon improved mayer lemons are grafted in the flying dragon root stock one last thing before we get into our video that you should be aware of as part of this grafting there should be a close relationship between the scion which is the top part and the root stock which is the bottom part of the plant for example you cannot use a apple root stock to craft a lemon tree so there should be a closer relationship within the citrus family the root stock and the scion should belongs to what you see on the right is calamontan and the left is the kefir lime we do have these plants in our garden and they grow really well 
but in this video as i said we are going to just look at mayor lemon and we are going to see how we need to take care of them during the different times mayor lemon is half mandarin orange as you all know it's an hybrid version they grow mostly in the zone 8 to 11 and if it is a dwarf variety you can keep it within the range of 5 to 7 feet tall which is easy for you to maintain if it is in the tree form it can go up to like 15 to 20 feet tall and these mayor lemons require sunlight anywhere between 8 to 12 hours per day and they can grow up to 50 years they are really hardy and they can survive even in the cold but if it is drops below 0 it is suggested to keep it indoor we got this mayor lemon in 2018 in a small bush form and over the years it grown and we have been repotting this plant what you see it take post winter and around the spring we prune the plant in such a way so that we can keep it in a bush form and pruning is one of the art for any plant when it comes you have to prune all the inward stems that's growing in the plant and you should leave all the exterior stems that's going out so that way when it grows the plant can be more bushy and it looks nice during the spring you can see the leaves are back and you also can see the white flower buds this is the indication that your plants are growing really healthy and every year it is been getting bigger so you can see there are like tons of flower buds in this one plant and few weeks later you can see these flower buds are growing bigger and you can see a purple base forming in each of the flower bud and that's the another indication that during that blossom stage the plants are getting the right nutrition and plants are getting really healthy so that the flower buds are getting healthier and changing into the purple base and that's the right way it should be growing in each stage this video was taken around late feb or early march i believe and look at the amount of flowers that the plant is holding in each stem and this is the time that you need to really take care of the plants from the bad bugs When I say bad bugs there are some bugs which get attracted to the mayor lemon tree for example aphids scales these are common uh, bugs that can attack the plant so you have to always keep checking the health of the plant and apply any pesticides what we normally do is we prepare our own homemade pesticides like 3g solution and we dilute that and we apply that to the plants on a regular interval so that you can keep the plants away from the bugs and it stays healthy few weeks later around april we started seeing the flowers are blooming and these are self pollinating plants so you don't need to have a pollinator and or another plant to be kept on the side for the pollination Now you can see the flowers are fully bloomed and most of the flowers are opening up. You can notice that now the plant has been moved indoor and the flowers are blooming. You know why we moved it to indoor? The fragrance. The fragrance of the lemon flower is like unbelievable. The natural scent and the fragrance that it produces it is uncomparable to any um fragrance that you get it from the store it's so amazing you have to experience by growing one plant uh, and you you should you should feel that then you know what i'm talking about so that's the reason we move the plant indoor most of the time to get the natural scent and the fragrance in the house it it's not going to affect any way to the plant by moving it indoor or outdoor as far as you see the plants are healthy and away from the bugs as i mentioned earlier these are self pollinated plants so you can see the stamen the pollens the yellow pollens when it get contact to the pistil 
that's the time it is getting pollinated and it start producing the fruits and you can see the bugs like bees and butterflies also helps you to get the plant the flowers to get pollinate as the pollination process takes place you can expect to see the small uh, tiny uh, lemon fruits coming at the tip at the at the bottom tip of each flower and that that is something very evidently you can see as part of the process when it takes place what you need to make sure this is the most important stage that you need to take care of your plants as these buds converts into tiny fruit the plant needs more nutrition and more food in order to keep the energy and the strength to convert the tiny fruit into a big size lemon so make sure you give enough nutrition and the food to the plant and the most important thing is it's not a one time process where you need to feed the plant with the fertilizer and nutrition it's an ongoing process because at every stage the plant needs right nutrition during the blossom during the uh, fruits when it is growing to a bigger size or when it is going to ripe at every stage you have to give the enough nutrition that is required for the plant as you see the plant has moved to the next stage from the blossom to producing the fruits these tiny fruits are ready to grow bigger and bigger so that is the next stage when the plant need more nutrition so as i said earlier we have done lot of homemade pest controls and fertilizers to feed the plant and when you see a a fruit turning yellow and it is losing its strength and it is so weak it will drop and that is a kind of an indication that you have to feed the plant again or uh, regularly feeding the plant you can avoid such things happening to the fruits so um, what we have done normally to give as a as a fertilizer or as a nutrition to this plants we used to do homemade um, fish fertilizer um, like a fruits fertilizer like fermented fruit fertilizer or a fermented buttermilk fertilizer all these are like very good nutrition and it improves plant health uh, and it makes sure the fruits are staying healthy in the plant so that it can go to the next stage to make it a bigger fruit and to ripe also there could be some other problem like what you're seeing now as i said scale is one common bug that you will see in the lemon plant especially in the mayer lemon plant and we do have a video separately to show how to get rid of the scales from the lemon plant you can look at it or there are several ways you can take care of this one is applying the soap oil and then removing it from the plant um uh, one by one using a paper towel wet paper towel and then apply the soap oil so that it doesn't stick and it will fall even if it falls ground in the in the plant it dies so there are several ways that you can take care of these scales as i said there are there was a video that we posted earlier you can check that one i will post the link in the description but it's a tedious work but if you do that repeatedly and if you monitor the plant on a regular interval and if you can take care of these issues and definitely the plant is going to give a good result and that's the way we have seen this is in late april or early may the plants are back to healthy state and it start growing bigger lemons from the tiny one what you saw a little earlier so those are the those are the little uh, uh, things that you can do to you can give to the plant to keep the plant more healthy and as i said earlier look at the flowers it is still blooming and it is still producing new flowers to the plant so it is a continuous process that you will see um, in the video uh, throughout the year and this is in the month of may as you see we continue to treat the plant to keep it healthy and away from the bugs and uh, you can clearly see that lemons are growing uh, it is much in a bigger bigger uh, size than what you saw a little while ago um, so as i said the more you care your plant you will be happy with the result that's what you are seeing in this video at every stage that what we did to the plant to keep it healthy
I'm going to skip few months not showing you the same repeat process that we did in the month of May, June, July. So let's get into the month of August and see how these lemons are now. Look at this, how bright yellow and big and healthy these fruits are. And we have been waiting to get this kind of a stage to harvest. But I'm going to wait for another month to get this fruit fully yellow like this and then I'm going to harvest. Keeping it in the plant, it's not going to affect your plant. It's going to keep it more healthy, but you need to harvest at the right time. And here you go. Here are the harvesters who come only for the harvesting season to harvest the fruits. And they are ready to harvest all these lemons and have fun. Look at them. They both had lot of fun in harvesting this and we had lot of fun watching them doing the harvest. And at the end, it makes you very happy and proud with the year long journey that you do every year. When you get the result like this, that's what you expect. What else you need? What next with so much of lemon? Yes, of course, it's lemon pickle. Mommy is ready to make the lemon pickle now so that we can enjoy that with every meal. It was nice talking to you all. I hope you enjoy this video. We'll talk to you in another video like this. Take care. Bye.